Chapter 348, Receiving Pointers from Zhang Chen. Zhang Chen raised his head with surprise. In his memories, Yu Wenkai had a very dashing and confident personality. Why did he have a bit of a self-pitying tone today? When he saw Zhang Chen look at him, Yu Wenkai smiled ruefully. Brother Boulder, I finally understand why you secular disciples are always filled with a sort of anger, and why you guys are always filled to the brim with such enormous motivation. Being ostracized and dismissed by everyone is truly a great motivator. There was a bit of anger present in his tone. It was obviously that his various circumstances since entering the Earth Quadrant had slightly changed his mentality. Zhang Chen nodded with a faint smile. Brother Wen Kai is a sect disciple. Why do you voice words filled with such anger? Yu Wen Kai sighed. Brother Boulder, I'm not a true sect disciple when it comes down to it. My identity as a sect disciple is quite hollow. I was born in an ordinary hunter's family and great changes happened in my family when I was still in my swaddling clothes. One of the executives of Myriad Spirit sect happened to save me. It can be said that he was my savior, and my only family elder in the sect. However, good people don't live long lives and he unfortunately died in the midst of action during a sect mission. From that point on, I was also called an unlucky orphan star and I was left forlorn with no protector. If it wasn't for the fact that I worked particularly hard to live in the cracks of a sect, I probably wouldn't have even been able to stay in the sect, much less participate in the selection. Yu Wenkai had been feeling sad and gloomy. He never had a friend that he could truly talk to. He himself found things a bit odd at this moment. Why was he pouring his heart out to a secular disciple? He scratched his head after speaking and said with some embarrassment, Brother Boulder, I've rather polluted your ears after blathering on for so long. It's odd. I'm not the sort of person who likes to chatter on and on, but I somehow feel an intimate sense of friendship whenever I see you. Will you think I'm kissing up to you when I say these words? Or that I'm putting on airs? Hey hey, Yu Wenkai laughed a bit self-deprecatingly. He really didn't want to kiss up to anyone. He'd come looking for Zhang Chen this time truly because he felt a natural sense of friendship. He also felt quite gleeful when he saw Zhang Chen trample on the sect disciples. Although Yu Wenkai was a sect disciple, he had the thoughts of a secular disciple in his bones. He had a tough time of things because he wasn't a lineal disciple in the sect. Every step he'd taken had been quite difficult. If it hadn't been for his own good showing and obtaining the chance to participate in the great selection due to his undying efforts, he would have been buried in the bottom ranks of the sect sooner or later, forever unable to change his circumstances. Zhang Chen's gaze was remote as he pointed at the empty space beside him. Sit. He hadn't been predisposed against Liu Wenkai to begin with. Now that he heard his words and observed his person, he was a fellow of true feelings. Zhang Chen also felt naturally inclined to strike up a friendship with people like him. He picked up a branch and drew some circles on the ground. He drew another bigger circle outside of the circles. These four circles are like the four great sects, and the larger circle is like the Sixteen Kingdom Alliance. No matter whether if we're in the larger circle or the smaller ones, all we can see is one limited circle. If we jump out of the little and big circle, you'll discover just how vast the outside world is. It's unlimited and boundless. For us, the sects are just a stepping stone on our path to pursuing the boundless Grand Dao. There's no need to allow these things to disturb our Dao heart. A look of contemplation appeared in Liu Wenkai's eyes as he lost himself in thought, staring at the small and big circles, seeming to muse over Zhang Chen's words. Zhang Chen drew a slash with his branch and broke out of the circles. For us, we must press forward with indomitable will and break through these thousands of obstacles to obtain the Grand Dao. If we cannot break free of these restrictions and fetters, then all will vanish in the blink of an eye without a trace like the floating clouds. Zhang Chen smiled and he brushed the branch over the ground, erasing all the circles and lines in an instant. Whether it was the Sixteen Kingdom Alliance or the Four Great Sects, they were all just a small bit of land in the end. If there was anything great that would happen, they would disappear in a flash like the drawings on the ground. It wasn't that Zhang Chen talking recklessly, it was that he recognized how frail the Sixteen Kingdom Alliance was when he chatted with Yi Chonlu last time. The Sixteen Kingdom Alliance was teetering on the edge of elimination in the Myriad Domain, and it was highly likely to be exiled as a desolate wildland. This proved that the Sixteen Kingdom Alliance was in a precarious position indeed. Yu Wenkai thought deeply and he suddenly seemed to understand something. He cast a look of gratitude at Zhang Chen. Thank you, Brother Boulder, for your golden counsel. Your words just now were like a sledgehammer to my head. Indeed, what need do we have to talk about birth and background? If one is a true genius, all the powers beneath the heavens will be unable to stop his rise. If one is mediocre, then all the powers beneath the heavens will be unable to raise him up. Zhang Chen laughed heartily and he nodded slightly without saying anything. Yu Wenkai was happy to see Zhang Chen accept his understanding. He no longer felt the at ease feeling that he had before he sat beside Zhang Chen. He absentmindedly felt that this secular genius was a bright lamp, providing guidance when he lost his way and leading him out of the wrong path in an instant. Brother Boulder must be a genius. He was born in the ordinary world and he dominated multiple sect geniuses. He is sure to transform into a dragon when he encounters the winds and clouds in the future. It's divine fortune that I am able to speak with such a character. I have leveraged Brother Boulder's strength to lead me out of woods. I should associate with Brother Boulder more in the future and befriend him, respect him as an elder brother, and continue to improve myself. Yu Wenkai was greatly agitated. He felt that being with Zhang Chen and only exchanging a few words with him had resulted in great gains. Brother Boulder's level and the height of his existence was far beyond the level of the ordinary world, and it even surpassed the world of knowledge of the sect disciples. Yu Wenkai's thoughts moved quickly as his thinking was quite nimble. Otherwise, how could he, a hunter's son, have found his footing in a sect with numerous geniuses? He had reaffirmed his own judgment at this moment in thinking that Brother Boulder was an unparalleled genius. His potential, talents, 
and realm were higher than even those of the preeminent geniuses and sects. This kind of person was destined to soar to the heaven sooner or later. Number 498, Yu Wenkai of the Myriad Spirit Sect, come up for your challenge. Yu Wenkai's name was selected at this moment. Yu Wenkai had recovered his previous ease and calm at this point. He bowed slightly to Zhang Chen. Many thanks to Brother Boulder's pointers to lead me away from the morass of my heart. Whether I win or lose in these hundred challenges, I will bring my full strength to bear. He strode forward with vigorous steps and ran for the elevated ring. A cultivator who just resolved something that had been troubling him, would release an astounding amount of power. Yu Wenkai selected a fourth level disciple of the flowing wind sect as soon as he entered the ring and he beat his opponent into the ground in thirty moves. This move surprised his peers from the myriad spirit sect, not to mention greatly astounding the examiners. Yu Wenkai's peers had ostracized him before because he wasn't a lineal disciple. His level hadn't been enough to enter their circle. But looking at things now, this character who had no grandparents to dote on him or any uncles to love him in the sect was harboring a great strength. Even Liu Wenkai himself hadn't thought that he would win, and win so crazily. He'd entered the Earth Quadrant as the 8th ranked candidate in the Mystic Quadrant. In the eyes of the outside world, this was his limit. He was sure to be amongst the bottom in the Earth Quadrant and he was a hot candidate for demotion. In actuality, Yu Wenkai had been subjected to jeers and mockery everywhere he'd gone over the last two days. No one had been willing to accept him because they all felt that there was no need to welcome a character destined to be eliminated. His confidence had taken a certain level of beating as a result. Zhang Chen's words prior to this battle had rang in his heart like the morning bell, helping him think through his obstacle in a moment and dissipating all shackles in his heart. Achieving his first victory in the Earth Quadrant didn't get to Liu Wenkai's head. He calmly decided to give up his next chance, leaving the ring with a score of his first victory. He knew that he wasn't a genius to win several times in a row. He temporarily didn't have the ability to triumph over several strong enemies in a row. Yu Wenkai was beside himself with joy after returning to Zhang Chen's side. Congratulations. Zhang Chen said. So explosive battle strength can be deployed after the shackles of the heart are lifted. It looks like a cultivator's opponents aren't just others, but himself as well. Yu Wenkai sighed. Zhang Chen was also truly happy for his sudden comprehension. It was rare to find a sect disciple as genuine as him. Everyone seemed to have kept back some of their strength on the first day of the matches. No one seemed to want to exert themselves to the utmost all at once. Therefore, the most anyone did in the entire day was three successive victories. The mystic quadrant phenomenon of commonly seeing five or six wins in a row, or even twenty-five straight wins, like Zhang Chen's mad tide, was never seen again. Zhang Chen was selected later on as well, by a flowing wind sect disciple in the ring of gravity. He departed from his style in the mystic quadrant and he purposefully concealed his strength, waiting until time was almost up to win in a manner that made him appear like he barely pulled it off. However, he'd done it so flawlessly that anyone watching would have felt that he'd been unable to deploy his talents in the ring of gravity, and that the gravity had limited his performance. In this regard, some of the first level candidates of the earth quadrant were at ease. Perhaps the secular genius really does possess the fire attribute like Kuang Jian. That's why he lost so badly. True gold isn't afraid of the trials of fire. This secular disciple is just from the mundane world all right. His true form is revealed upon meeting a true test. It looks like he can deploy only a third of his strength in the area of gravity. Hey, we have no need to fear battle strength like his. Zhang Chen's trampling of Uang Jian earlier had made all the first seed candidates in the Earth Quadrant view Zhang Chen as a major enemy. They all breathed a sigh of relief when they saw Zhang Chen's bedraggled performance in the ring. If he was only amazing in the ring of fire, then this genius wasn't a well-rounded one. Who would be afraid of him and not in the ring of fire?